Now we're going to take a series of numbers and try to describe it with a formula. It's going to be the same formula that we used when we were talking about graphing and slopes. So looking at this, can we add something from the first number to get the second? Sure, we can add 2. To get from 4 to 6, we also add 2. To get from 6 to 8, we can also add 2. So we know we have an arithmetic sequence. How do we make it fit into this formula? Well, so what we're going to do is make our list of numbers into a table of numbers. We're going to say the first one is number 1, the second one is number 2, the third is number 3, and the fourth is number 4, and so on. The values themselves are going to be the y values. And their place is going to be the x values. So now we're starting to see how we can use our formula here. But in order to get the b value, we need x to be equal to 0. But I don't have a 0 value in my table for x. But I do remember that when I went from 2 to 4, I added 2. 4 to 6, I added 2. And 6 to 8, I added 2. So what could I add to 2 to get 2? In this case, it's just 0. So my arithmetic sequence stays the same. I add 2 to get to 2, and I add 2 to get to 4, and I add 2 to get to 6, and I add 2 to get to 8. So when x is 0, in this case, b is also 0. So my last question is, what do I put in for m? Well, all I have to do is look at what I've been adding to every sequence. And the answer is, I'm adding 2. So my formula for 2, 4, 6, 8 is y equals 2x plus 0 or y equals 2x. And that's how I get a formula from an arithmetic series of numbers. I'm going to try it again with these two series of numbers. I'm going to try and make a formula y equals mx plus b from two arithmetic sequences. Looking at my numbers, I can see that the difference between 7 and 13 is adding 6. 13 and 19 is adding 6. 19 and 25 is adding 6. So in this case, I know that m is going to be 6. Now I go ahead and make my table. And I make sure to remember to include a 0 value. Well, what number do I need to add 6 to to get 7? That number is 1. So in this case, my b value is 1. And now I can write my formula as y equals 6x plus 1. On the lower one, I can see that going from 5 to negative 3 means I have to subtract 8. Negative 3 to negative 11, subtract 8. Negative 11 to negative 19, subtract 8. 
So I know that in my formula, m is going to be negative 8. Now I make my table, remembering to leave a space for 0, and I try to figure out what that number would be. Well, if I'm subtracting 8 every time, what number minus 8 equals 5? Well, 5 plus 8 is 13. So if I put in 13 here, then it keeps my arithmetic sequence. 13 minus 8 is 5. So I know my formula is going to be y equals minus 8x plus 13. Those are my formulas for my arithmetic sequence of numbers.